Hello, kindergarten friends. I'm wearing a frog hat. So guess what time it is? It's time for another story from a frog and toad book. Today's frog and toad book we are reading from is called Frog and Toad Are Friends. And the story is called The Story. Here we go. One day in summer, a frog was not feeling well. Toad said, frog, you are looking quite green. But I always look green, said frog. I am a frog. Today you look very green, even for a frog, said Toad. Get into my bed and rest. Toad made frog a cup of hot tea. Frog drank the tea and then he said, tell me a story while I'm resting. All right, said Toad, let me think of what story to tell you. Toad thought and thought, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. I will go out on the front porch and walk up and down, said Toad. Perhaps that will help me to think of a story. Toad walked up and down on the porch for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad went into the house and stood on his head. Yeah, I can't do that. I would if I could. Why are you standing on your head, asked Frog. I hope that if I stand on my head, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad stood on his head for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad poured a glass of water over his head. Why are you pouring water over your head? Said Frog. I hope that if I pour water over my head, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad poured many glasses of water over his head, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Oh my goodness, Toad, you are surely silly. Then Toad began to bang his head against the wall. Why are you banging your head against the wall? Asked Frog. I hope that if I bang my head against the wall hard enough, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. Boys and girls, please do not try that at home. I am feeling much better now, Toad, said Frog. I do not think I need a story anymore. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it, said Toad, because now I feel terrible. Frog said, would you like me to tell you a story? Toad, yes, said Toad, if you know one. Once upon a time, said Frog, there were two good friends, a frog and a toad. The frog was not feeling well. He asked his friend, the toad, to tell him a story. The toad could not think of a story. He walked up and down on the porch, but he could not think of a story. He stood on his head, but he could not think of a story. He poured water over his head, but he could not think of a story. He banged his head against the wall, but he still could not think of a story. Then the toad did not feel very well, and the frog was feeling better. So the toad went into bed, and the frog got up and told him a story. The end.
how was that, Toad? said Frog. But Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Well, boys and girls, was Toad silly in that book? Super silly. He was trying so hard to think of a story for his friend Frog when all along he was creating a story. And by that time, Frog got better and then Toad didn't feel well. And so Frog just told him the story of what he just did. And that, my friends, is what friends do. They help each other make each other feel better. And in this story, Toad was helping Frog and Frog helped Toad. I hope you enjoyed this story. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye.